majors coming around the corner. You've got mm-hmm. a few DJs now. Going to be looking at one of them back end of the year. Hi, guys. And welcome to the Golf Magic Chat Show. Uh, we're going to talk all things Travelers Championship, uh, talk about DJ's win, uh, and also get predictions for the Rocket Mortgage Classic. So let's get into it. Come on in, boys. Let's talk about Travelers Championship. How did your picks go? Yeah. Um, well, my nap selection, Webb Simpson, uh, decided to withdraw on Wednesday uh, just to give everyone a chance of, of winning. Um, so, unfortunately, he didn't take part. Uh, obviously, Abram Anser was my second pick, 33-1. to 1. Uh, He was there on Saturday, got within one, got quite excited. Um, and then it went a bit wrong for him on Saturday, sort of late in that round. Gave himself too much to do on Sunday, but a, a tie for 11th, respectable finish again for, for Anser. I think a win's around the corner for him soon. Mm-hmm. Um, what about you, Jack? You had Leishman, didn't you? He's going well for you. Yeah, I tried Rose and uh, Watson, who absolute no shows, which is very disappointing. But Leishman at 50 to 1, he started off brilliantly. He was, he was nine under through two rounds, and we were texting, thinking, you know, this is a proper horse for course player. And you thought, this is, this is someone you want up there with two rounds left. And then you shot 72 on both Saturday and Sunday. Um, put that down to that. That was his first round back, so he, he expected a bit of. But actually, he played, he played in the Charles, didn't he? I think, and then missed, obviously, Heritage. Yeah. Few cobwebs. I think if he was on better form, then he could have pushed for that lead. But yeah, apart from that, nowhere near, nowhere near last week. Yeah, no one could live with DJ. Obviously, 21st career PJ Tour win, 13th consecutive season for DJ. So uh, great to see him back. Anyway, yeah, back definitely. Yeah, even if he nearly threw it away, right? Incredible, really. I think you know it just shows, doesn't it? It's someone you know, 21 career wins, but it had been what February. Uh, 2019, his last win in, in Mexico. It just shows nearly 18 months. You're going to still feel butterflies. And 13th hole out of bounds, put it you know close to the railway track. Uh, he was very lucky on 15 not to go in the water. Um, but how that didn't go in the water? How, how does a ball that fast in that amazing. speed stay in the rough? He, 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 he was lucky like there. That. Very lucky. Amazing. So he got away with a par there. Um, but no, you know he gritted it out well. I thought. I didn't think he had his A game. Uh, which is ominous, I guess, <laughs> for everyone else going forward. Uh, I think he probably had his B game last week. He was just incredible in the greens. Um, but yeah, great to see DJ back, back up to world number three. And um, majors coming around the corner. You've you got to feel DJ's now going to be looking at one of them back end of the year. Like I say, Andy, that putter he made, he made that switch to the uh, trust, Tenere trust putter. Yeah. And he just looked so much more confident than that. You could see he was not struggling with those short putts at all. Clearly mm. holding a lot of putts as well. A few stats here. He was fourth in strokes gained putting. Um, tied fifth for putts per round as well, averaging 27.5. Wow. Um, I took a look at his average before uh, the Travellers at that putts per round stat. Um, and he was tied 62nd up into the RBC Heritage with 28.64. So he saved more than a shot around there. And it, obviously it's one tournament. If he can keep that sort of thing up, that's, that's four shots a tournament. You know, and like I said, the majors coming around. If he can transition that, this is someone who's got a habit of coming, I mean, it's at four seconds or tied seconds as well in, in majors uh, over the years. Two of them were last year. He's always in top 10 like, most of the time. If he can transition those four shots, you know, that's, that's where that second major could start, start to happen this year, possibly. Yeah. I think what I find incredible about Dustin is that he, he turns up at tournaments with six putters in the bag. Mm. You know, in his in his practice bag on the Wednesday, and he, yeah. he turns up at the tournament. He's not quite sure which putter he's going gonna to use. It might be a spider... It's obviously looking now, it's going to be like the, the new truss. Uh, I'd be surprised if he, you know, plays another putter after the Very putter he had last week. But, you know, you'd like to think that you're going to just stick with a putter and just keep practicing with it. But Dustin typically has chopped and changed with his putters. So, mm. just have to see how he goes. But as you say, they start one club, like I said, is that the putter is usually the one that stays in your bag for such a long time. You know, yeah. you look at amateur golfers. Some of us out here are using putters you've been using since you were sort of 12, 13 years old. You're just changing the grip all the time. Whereas mm. DJ, like I said, it's the complete opposite. He's always changing the putter and keeps the other, other clubs in the bag. So it's quite interesting that he's never really been that comfortable. But like I said, with the trust putter now, it's a, it's a really stable putter. We've reviewed it before. It caused a bit of a stir with how it looks. But, you know, you know if a club performs that well, that's the most important thing. You know, if you can stand over the ball when you're holding a putter that feels stable and you're going to be rolling in putts, then I, don't care, I wouldn't care what it looks like if it's holding putts for me. Right, coming in, guys. Give us your tips for next week. Rocket Mortgage Classic. 
Okay, well, come on, Jack. We've got to find a winner this week. Um, Bryson heads the bet and it's six to one. I mean, he's going to fancy his chances. What's that? It's six consecutive top eights, seven consecutive, well, seven top eights in his last eight, I believe. Um, you know, he's going to really fancy his chances this week. Mm. Not the strongest field, but I think this looks a bit short, six to one. Um, my man Webb Simpson's in the field, 12 to one. Not quite sure whether he's actually going to play. That's the only thing. Obviously, a family member's apparently tested positive last week. He's probably got a few things going on off the course. Not quite sure he's going to have his head in the game this week. If he lines up and he's ready to go, then obviously 12 to 1 is going to look huge. But I'm going to swerve that. Um, my barnet's a shocker. I've put a hat on today. And <laughs> I'm going to go for Tyrrell hat on. I think 16 to 1 is huge price the way he played yeah. at Heritage obviously before lockdown he was kind of the hottest player on tour um, yeah 16 to 1 I like that I think he's going to be ready to go he's had a week off last week um, so he should be fresh third in the betting 16s looks good uh, second pick 45 to 1 shot Doc Redmond finished second here last year um, I just like the form he's bringing into this tournament as well and he's got course form you know, they haven't played this course too many times. Um, I think it's the second six, time in 50 years or something, isn't it? Something, something like that, yeah. Um, six consecutive rounds in the 60s uh, and a tie for 11th last week. Finished with a really low round on Sunday as well. So 45 to 1, going for his first win. 22-year-old, up-and-coming star like that. Mm-hmm. And at slightly bigger odds, uh, 110 to 1, three-time PGA Tour winner Scott Stallings. Uh, he tied for sixth last week. Uh, Rumour has it he shot 59 in practice a couple of weeks ago as well. So I like that. 110 to 1, bit of each way value fee. Jack, who are you going for? Uh, I like what you mentioned about Deshambo. Again, I'm, I'm not going to pick him. I think it's short odds, but I think he's going to be hard to stop. Like I said, he's in seriously hot form. Um, yep. It's the course that really rewards accuracy. So those greens and regulation players are really going to back this up this week. And he's ninth at the moment in greens and regulation. So a player that's going to really enjoy it around the uh, Detroit course. Um, I like Patrick Reed at 14 to 1. Um, like I said, although it's a greens and regulation course, uh, hot putters seem to do really well here too. Um, speaking of that green regulations, four of the five best greens and regulation players in 2019 finished low lower than tied fifth last year, including the winner Nate Lashley. Um, Patrick Reed, a very accurate player, but I really like his putt into this course. And a 14 to 1, uh, tied fifth here last year as well. I think he's got great odds there. Um, I'm also going to go for Kevin Nahr. 40 to 1. I think that's quite a big price for someone in decent form. Like we said, you can't really go horses for courses here, but he came fifth at the Travellers last week and he is sixth in show game putting. So 40 to 1, I think, is a big price mm. if you put that each way. Definitely, yeah. Like that. But hopefully, hopefully we can get a winner because we've, we've had a dodgy few weeks, Andy. So this yeah. could be the week we get it, I think. A yeah. bit of value this week as well. Yeah. Like, cool. Nice. And yet again this week, we've got a competition, giving away some Puma shoes. Andy, do you want to talk us through them? Yep, so we're giving away a pair of the new Puma RSG shoe. Uh, Both Jack and I have tested these shoes uh, last week. Incredibly comfortable, uh, very light, kind of got that retro running vibe look about them. Uh, Jack, did you enjoy wearing them last week? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Being a younger golfer, I do prefer sort of modern style. and that actually surprised me how comfortable they were. They're a fantastic summer shoe, extremely mm. comfortable. Not not the shoe that you're getting bored of after 16, 17 for tea. So, fantastic shoe from Puma. Yeah, definitely one of the best for uh, for this season. you need to do uh, to enter the competition is subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment with your shoe size. Uh, we'll also be giving away two pairs on our social channels. So make sure you're following us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook to find out how to enter. Cheers. <laughs>